Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. All Pro WR raises eyebrows after seemingly quoting Raiders Antonio Pierce. The San Francisco 49ers remain in a contract dispute with star wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, and it's possible things end with him getting traded. The Las Vegas Raiders aren't a team that needs wide receiver help right now, but Ayuk played at Arizona State, while Antonio Pierce was a recruiting coordinator at the program. Ayuk has spoken previously about how he's a fan of the coach. Recently, Pierce was speaking about how the Raiders lost running back Josh Jacobs in free agency and dropped a notable quote. Money talks, BS walks, right? And he had to do what's best for him and his family and I wish him the best, but that one hurt, Pierce said during his March 25th media availability. Notably, shortly after Pierce's comments made the round, Ayak took to his Instagram story and posted a series of emojis that mirrored what the coach said, which led to speculation online. Ayak is coming off a career year with the 49ers where he had 1,342 receiving yards and was named second-team All-Pro. He's set to play on his fifth-year option but has no contract past 2024. He likely wants to get paid but the 49ers have so much money tied up in other players. Brandon Ayuk is a fan of Antonio Pierce and also grew up in Nevada. Playing for the Raiders would allow him to be closer to his family. If Las Vegas is where he wants to play, there are some issues that would need to be worked out. The Raiders already have two very good wide receivers in Jacoby Myers and Devontae Adams. They are also both on sizable contracts. The team can't justify trading an asset to get Ayak and then proceed to pay him big money. The only way a trade for him works is if Myers or Adams is sent to San Francisco. Adams is a team captain and one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. It's highly unlikely the team would trade him. Myers has only been in Las Vegas a year but impressed with his toughness and versatility. Ayak is a more productive player, but he's also going to be more expensive. The Raiders aren't paying a quarterback a ton of money so could choose to surround whoever the starter is with an abundance of receiving talent. That said, it's still unlikely that Ayak will play in Las Vegas next season. Brandon Ayak was a first-round pick for the 49ers in 2020 and is a key part of their offense. Losing him would be a big blow to a team that made the Super Bowl last season. While it looks like Ayak may have one foot out the door, general manager John Lynch remains hopeful that they'll be able to retain the wide receiver. We're actively talking with Brandon trying to figure something out, Lynch said during his March 25th media availability. We have a good history of working with the guys we want to get done to get something done, and it takes two sides. So, can we do that? We'll see. There's a number of different directions that it could go, but we appreciate the heck out of Brandon and who he is as a player, and we want him to be a part of the Niners. We're going to work towards making that a reality. 49ers named potential landing spot for former Dolphin Center Former Miami Dolphin Center Connor Williams suffered an ACL injury against the Tennessee Titans in Week 14. If it weren't for the injury, Williams would have likely already found a new home and could have been a player the Dolphins re-signed. Instead, he's on the market and could be for much of the offseason. Of the theoretical landing spots, Dallas Robinson of Pro Football Network suggested Williams makes the most sense for the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers ranked 20th in pass block win rate and 23rd in run block win rate last year, but have opted for OL continuity thus far this offseason. San Francisco re-signed right guard John Feliciano and gave right tackle Colton McKivitz an extension through 2025. Williams doesn't have a timetable for finding a new team after suffering a pretty significant ACL tear in December, his agent Drew Rosenhaus told WSVN this week. Depending on how his recovery progresses this summer, the 26-year-old could become an upside play for the 49ers. For San Francisco, Williams would be an ideal addition as he'd be cheap and could help them when healthy. 
The 49ers added offensive line help during the early stages of the offseason, but that doesn't mean adding more on cheaper deals isn't in the future for them. At the very least, Williams could be someone they add closer to the season or in the season when he's healthy. As the Miami Dolphins saw last season, injuries can change a season. Injuries also changed how the 2022-23 season went for the 49ers, so they understand better than anyone that their season can change in a second. Having NFL-ready talent is needed for a Super Bowl team, which is exactly what the 49ers are. Landing him would be a positive, but a decision on his end doesn't look to be happening soon. Williams agent Drew Rosenhaus appeared on the The Joe Rose Show in February, saying that they planned on taking their time with his decision. I do think that we're going to be very methodical and take our time relative to the contract, Rosenhaus said. A lot of it may be predicated on how Connor is feeling physically. He may not be a player that signs at the very start of free agency. He may take more time based on how he's feeling physically. Connor's situation has a you know a degree of uncertainty that's going to be tied to how he's feeling. And really, we'll just take it one day at a time once we get into the offseason, but I'm not sure that that is one that'll be resolved as quickly as some of the other players that we represent. The Miami Dolphins' offensive line was up and down in the 2023-24 season. They ranked 31st in pass block win rate and 8th in run block win rate, according to ESPN. The injuries to Williams, Taron Armstead, and others on the line played a factor in that, but the line wasn't great once again. Keeping Williams around allows them to have insurance, similar to what the San Francisco 49ers would have. While he likely won't be an all-pro, Williams will enter his seventh season in 2024, making him a serviceable option when needed. With limited cap space, the Dolphins should look to bring him back on a cheap deal. San Francisco 49ers urged to trade for former first-round pick to solidify CB. The San Francisco 49ers and general manager John Lynch have never shied away from making big splashes to bolster areas of weakness in recent seasons. Whether it is trading for a franchise running back such as Christian McCaffrey to round out the offense, or upgrading what was already one of the game's more dominant front sevens by acquiring Chase Young in a trade deadline deal, Lynch is nothing if not aggressive. After falling to the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl, Lynch and the 49ers could look to take a flyer on yet another a former first-round pick who the organization believes a change of scenery could bring out the best in. If the Cleveland Browns are intent on trading cornerback Greg Newsom, the 33rd team suggests the San Francisco 49ers would be a perfect fit. The San Francisco 49ers could use another outside cornerback opposite Charverius Ward, Dan Pizzula writes for the 33rd team. Diamador Lenore and Ambry Thomas were average when out there in 2023 as the 49ers cycled through players on the outside. San Francisco could work to load up some contracts while taking advantage of Brock Purdy's seventh-round rookie contract while it lasts. After initially struggling to find his footing, Greg Newsom had one of the finest seasons of his career in Jim Schwartz's defense during the 2023 campaign. The Browns' first-round selection with the number 26 overall pick during the 2021 draft, Newsom was the definition of a shutdown corner in 2023, holding opposing quarterbacks to a 76.4 passer rating when targeting him last season, according to Pro Football Focus. Through his first three seasons, Newsom has produced 128 total tackles with one sack and two interceptions. As the 49ers look to solidify the secondary and restore some of the physicality that was a trademark of the defense at large under former defensive coordinator D'Amico Ryans, Newsom could be an ideal trade target to watch. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Greg Newsom? Leave your opinion in the comments.